What's going on guys, Just GC Football here. It is game day as PNE take on Reddit at Deepdale with PNE winning four matches out of the last five matches. PNE have lost only two games in our last 11 matches which came away at the Riverside Stadium against Middlesbrough and at Turf Moor, two very hard opponents. So we start to find our feet now at Deepdale as PNE have won the last three out of the last four matches at Deepdale with the other a draw. So we've took 10 points out of possible 12. So PNE find themselves only two points behind the playoffs as we're sitting in eighth place with six games to go. I will put my neck on the line right now and say 72 points will be enough for six spots. So four wins and a draw for PNE and I think that will do. And that's only due to our poor goal difference as I think 71 might do the job as well. But with it being such a low points tally, who would have thought we'd be in a playoff hunt at this moment in time, not me. Hey, look at us. Look at us. Huh? Who would have thought? Not me. So today's opponent, Reading, are sitting in 22nd spot in the relegation zone after being deducted six points after breaching EFL's profit and sustainability limits. This is the second time Reading have been deducted six points. It is the fans I feel most sorry for in this situation as Reading have not won in their last seven games with their last victory coming against Blackpool at the... Carl Leeson Stadium. So Reading are normally our bogey team, but PNE won 2-1 at Reading back in November with a Ched Evans double of that time. As it, it's got to say with Lucas Shaw with a penalty for them. So PNE last won at home against Reading back in August 2017. So nearly six years ago. It's well overdue. Can we break the duck today? So PNE last did the double over Reading back in the 2015-2016 season under Simon Grayson. Can we do it today? So PNE will be without Reese. McCann, Evans, Cunningham and with Brown Adal. I don't forget to play today. But Lindsay is a possible return for today. So our danger man, it's none other than Tom Cannon. And he's just come into form at the right time. As he's scored six goals in his last seven games. And it's took him a while to get used to it. But he is absolutely banging him in. There's no stopping him at the moment. Hopefully he will continue that role. As he's certainly linking up well with Parrot. As I'd like to see that again. And it shows you, shows you what a difference Daniel Johnson makes to this squad. He's our most creative player. And when he's on it, he's on it. So the danger man for Reading is Andy Carroll. Due to his height and physique. As he will be the danger man up front. As they'll be trying to look at him to bring others into play. So I will see you guys at Deepdale as I will show you around Peony's new Gentry Bar which is open today to replace the van zone which was the tent in the car park as I can't wait to see where it has an offer as Peony are moving possibly forward in all directions at the minute as a little bit of buzz and maybe, just maybe, we can do to dream as I will see you guys at Deepdale. Gentry pay I can't even still think it, so £4.50, it's a pay -light. it's the only one on cast, it's cost me four fifty. so price, bad standard really, probably six and right here, but it's a nice buy, give it a solid 7.2 out of 10 there, but it's absolutely wrong, it's had the first time, <laughs> this is a Gentry bar. So it's nice to know, find a good chance out from Pods, spots him from uh, Andy U. Well, one thing I will say, this is the last chance to be in the cup for the season. It's the last chance to walk to the cup, so I'm going to enjoy it. I just can enjoy standing up here one last time. So, first chance of the game, first corner to North End here. Oh. Okay. So a slow start here deep there, nothing really to tell you about, nothing to excite, nothing part the only good chance we've had so far is Brad Parts. But that's about it, first 15 minutes of deep down here. Real close from Tom Cannon there, come on North and keep going at him. Shoot. Decent chance now from Tom Cannon again, near full right. Unlucky. Yeah. 
Crutcher from North End going to make this count. Last five minutes for Dominate. See if we can get the first goal here. Connor to North End. That ball's going to go in there for a second, but Brendan block it just before it hits the line, goes over the line. So unlucky there. So far, approaching half time, pressing North End being dominant, corner to North End. Can we finally make this count? Half time nil nil there, pressing nothing. They've got to be more clinical. Dominate first half, open and puffing, but just need that clinical touch. Oh. Shoot. So half decent chance for nothing off the re it just goes over the bar. Just got to the second half from North End, they torn into North End, good chance for Dan Johnson there. Person now need to do it is build on them, just keep going to red as they are absolutely their fair taking. As you can just tell what those teams are, which should really be beaten if we've got to play of aspirations here. <laughs> Big light off offside for red in there. That's what I fear with their head ons, that's why I've got Andy Carroll on there for the target event set pieces. Player for Preston there. Oh, that's an offense. Come on. Shot. Oh, nearly. Transfer North End. Just keep going over. They're really there, but okay, they are a bad team. Reddit. Can easily see why they are down there. So, Connor to North End. Ah. So 15 minutes ago at Deepdale, still 1-0 North End here. Can we hang on or can we push for a second goal and try and kill this game? That's so not ready in the minute. <laughs> so just over 10 minutes ago here, corner to red him. Come on. Just like that, from a long for a how disappointing from North End. Absolute shocking goal to concede. They've been absolutely awful. On to North End. Very nearly 2 1 North End there. So it's added time now. Four minutes here, dude. Can we get a winner or will Reading do it? Let's see. I don't care about the winners, 
score there. to Reading.